Hello, and welcome to Soft Emotive's tutorial series on Win Automation. In this tutorial, we will cover conditionals. A very common need when developing a process is to apply a particular logic that includes decision making. The flow of the process changes depending on the decision taken. The simplest way to do this is to use the if conditional from the conditionals group of actions. Using the if conditional, you can check or compare two values and design the process to act differently depending on the result. The value to be compared could be either a user-defined value or a variable, and the process flow will change accordingly. But let's see an example. Let's say that you want to check if you are running a process on a weekday, as the process should not be executed on a weekend. First, you must get the current date. The getCurrentDate and time action will produce a date-time variable from which you can get several attributes, like the day of the week, month, year, and so on. For this example, you will need the day of the week and save it under the day name variable. Then, use the if conditional to check if today is Saturday. Also, you could check if today is Sunday using the else if condition. In case either condition is true, the process should stop. Alternatively, the process could continue to run. To achieve this, use the else action within the conditional. Like the loops, an if conditional will always be paired with an end if action. Apart from the simple if conditional, there are many more conditionals. If a file or folder exists or it's missing, if a Windows process is running or if a Windows service is started or stopped, if a window is opened or focused on, as well as if web pages or windows contain a particular text or controls. Moreover, you can search within the screen to see if an image is present or if a particular text is present. In order to search for a particular text, you would need to set an OCR engine to perform the search. WinAutomation interacts with OCR engines Modi and Tesseract. Those who have worked in traditional programming frequently tend to use the switch case model to create conditionals for decision making. Using the switch case model, the process redirects the flow to the case which is found to be true. If no case is met, the default case will apply. Win automation includes this using the switch case actions. Let's create the same example as the one we created previously, this time using the switch case model. First, add a switch action. Under the switch, add the value that you are checking, in this case, the day of the week. Next, add a case for the value being Saturday and another for the day being Sunday. Finally, add the default case for all the weekdays. Now you will add inside each of the cases the actions that should be performed. As you can see, all three actions automatically include the equivalent ending action. This concludes the conditionals video. Thank you for watching.